So we formed the group, the Tremors. I get a phone call one day from the guy there, first gig, Amarin Village Hall, on Friday night, showing to get in, the Tremors. So the guy phones me up and he says, you can't be called the Tremors, it's got to be something and the Tremors. You can't be the Tremors. I said, what are you talking He said, no, no, he said, we've got to advertise it. So no, there's a poster on the oak tree outside, a big crayon poster. So I said, oh, all right then. So he said, you've got to come up with a name. So I'd just seen Alvis's movie, Loving You. So I thought, well, Deke Rivers, there's a great name. Deke Rivers. So I got the telephone directory out. And being a lazy bastard, I only got to the A's. That's it, Deke Arlen. Fine, that's the name. So I phone up the village hall, I say, right, it's Deke Arlen and the Tremors. And I tell you, I cycled by that oak tree 50 times to see my name in lights. There it was on this big poster in crayon. Deke Arlen and the Tremors, one shilling, Friday night. And off we went. But we were one of those top three groups down there. And we did great, we did great. And one day I'm on stage at the top at Little Hampton, shaking my legs and doing me Elvis. And in walks Lionel Bart. And has a penchant for pretty young men. And I, I was quite pretty. We got a chance to play in London at the Scala Theatre in a review with Flanders and Swan and Charlie Drake. And I go on stage and I think, I think at the time I'm doing all of me. All of me, why don't you take all of me? So I'm shaking the hips, I'm doing the wiggle, and a voice comes from the other side of the stage from prompt corner, take one step back. So I take one step back, the kids are screaming, and they drop the safety curtain. Drop the safety curtain on me while I'm doing it. We don't have that in our theatre, he said, this nice theatrical man. So I went to Holloway Road through Lionel Bart, introducing me to the great Joe Meek, and Joe had a group there called the Offbeats. And their lead singer was a guy called Wayne, something Wayne, Jeff Wayne, I think it was. Anyway, he was a, he was a bodybuilder. I do know his name, I'm just getting old, I forget these things. And um, he, was, uh, he was a black, a black guy, and, he, and I don't know how well he sang, I was never really told that, but he did body things on stage, pumped his muscles and things. <laughs> anyway, Joe decided he couldn't make a record with these guys, but the Offbeats, he thought, were a fabulous group, and indeed they were. And so it became Dee Carlin and the Offbeats. And uh, Joe Meek then, who oh, was wonderful, I mean, it's just dear, oh dear. The rhythm section was in the front room, I was in the bathroom, and the string section, conducted by Charlie, was on the staircase. And Charlie used to stand in the street on the pavement at Holloway Road with his baton, and they opened the front door, and there were the string players. Oh dear, oh dear. And I'm standing there, I never saw Joe, of course. Joe was in his little room at the back with his, his two track, his four track, to crossing it. You never heard what he was doing. You never played it back to you. He just used to make you sing it again and again. Oh, you sing a song 40 times, and you didn't know why, but of course he, he knew what he was doing, because he was a genius. And great to work with. And you'd work there for 10 hours, non-stop, sing, sing, and he'd come in with a box of ice creams. and say, would anybody like a nice, you know, vanilla ice cream? <laughs> no, our drugs, what do you mean our drugs? We, we're living on ice creams, and cups of tea.